And what is the lengthiest spoken oath commonly required of witnesses in a formal legal trial? The answer seems to be 374 words in the judicial courts of Burma until at least the middle of the 19th century. An English translation appears in Kenneth R. H. Mackenzie's book, Burma and the Burmese, published in London in 1853. The oath itself is all business. Each witness must say the following. If I speak not the truth, when I and my relations are on land, land animals, as tigers, elephants, buffaloes, poisonous serpents, scorpions, etc., shall seize, crush, and bite us so that we must certainly die. Let the calamities occasioned by fire, water, rulers, thieves, and enemies oppress and destroy us till we perish and come to utter destruction. Let us be subject to all the calamities that are within the body and all that are without the body. May we be seized with madness, dumbness, blindness, deafness, leprosy, and hydrophobia. May we be struck with thunderbolts and lightning and come to sudden death. In the midst of not speaking truth, may I be taken with vomiting clotted black blood and suddenly die before the assembled people. When I am going by water, may the water gnats assault me, the boat be upset, and the property lost, and may alligators, porpoises, sharks, or other sea monsters seize and crush me to death, and when I change worlds, may I not arrive among men or gnats, but suffer unmixed punishment and regret in the utmost wretchedness among the four states of punishment, hell, prita, beasts, and athurakai. After that and a lot more, the oath concludes with a few thoughts of hope and cheer. Then the witness, if he is still alive and not seized with madness, dumbness, blindness, deafness, leprosy, and hydrophobia, testifies. <laughs>